Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali and welcome to my channel. Today is Easter Sunday, so I thought I would do a little cook with me video. Um, my boyfriend is here with me. <laughs> He's like the fairly odd parent person like that never shows his face. <laughs> Although he does, it's just he got in the frame after I set it all up. He's gonna cook the ham right now and I'm gonna tackle some Texas Roadhouse rolls. Honestly, I looked it up on Pinterest and it sounds a lot easier than I thought it would be. Um, it is currently 9.47 a.m. and I'm guessing we'd probably wanna eat around noon. So hopefully all this stuff is um, ready by then. The prep time is one hour and 30 minutes and then the cook time is just 15 minutes. So should be fine. Don't mind my obnoxious mic over here. I definitely wanna make sure that this is good audio so y'all can hear the directions and everything. And I didn't wanna place it on the table because then you would hear like things banging around. Disclaimer before the whole video starts, I'm not a chef and I kind of, I'm just starting to learn how to cook. So I might not know a lot of things, but I just wanted to do this video for fun. So we are gonna get started with some yeast and some water and we're gonna let this dissolve. Um, this is instant yeast. I'm not sure if like there's that big of a difference. So first the recipe calls for two and one fourth teaspoon of yeast. And then just one tablespoon of lukewarm water. We're gonna let that sit and dissolve for about five minutes. Maybe I should have done this in a smaller bowl, <laughs> but we are all learning here. The ham is going into the oven. How long does it have? Hour and 40 minutes, right? While we let that sit, I'm going to mix some more ingredients in another bowl. So we're gonna take six tablespoons of butter and plop it in a microwave safe bowl. Then I'm gonna pour in one cup of milk. Then the recipe calls for five tablespoons of sugar. The last thing is just a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna take this and put it in the microwave for a minute and then we're gonna stir it together. So now everything is melted. I'm just gonna let this cool because we are gonna put this mixture into the yeast and then add an egg. And I don't want the egg to be cooking in the mixture. Now we're gonna make some Easter mimosas with blueberry juice. Blueberry juice. Blueberry lemonade. <laughs> Damn, that would've shot so high. <laughs> The mixture has cooled down, so I'm just gonna pour this into the yeast. And I'm just gonna give it a good mix. I'm gonna crack a large egg in here. All right, so now we're going to add our flour and we're gonna add about three cups to it. Oh my. Ah! Oh, oh my god. Ah! It literally has a mind of its own. It's scary. Yes. And this is why I'm gonna get KitchenAid. I'm gonna grease this bowl lightly and then we are gonna place our dough in here and then let it rise for about an hour. While I was waiting, I decided to go ahead and make the topping. This is just like a honey butter mixture and I'll definitely link the recipe down below so you guys can take a look at the measurements. In that hour, I also prepared the deviled eggs because what is Easter without them? It is finally time to roll out the dough. So I'm just gonna flour the counter really quick. I just cleaned it with water no chemicals or anything like that. I'm gonna use this cup and it's like a square shaped. I originally tried like a circle, but it didn't work. So we're gonna try this instead. So just swiggle it around. It's more of like a, well now it looks like a circle. <laughs> but it looks pretty damn perfect to me. Yay. So now I'm just gonna knead all of my scraps back together and then roll it out and then try to make more. Mm -hmm. 
Now it is time to put these beautiful little Texas Roadhouse rolls into the oven. After about 15 minutes of baking in the oven, I took them out and started to brush on my honey butter mixture while they were still hot. I did warm the mixture up a little bit so it was already melted, but it went on so beautifully. They are glowing and they were so good, y'all. You guys have to try them, especially if you're not on a diet and if you are on a diet of some sort, I'm really sorry for this video. This is our little setup out here. Got the Yeti cooler as our table. <laughs> If you guys know any good recipes, we ate and I was about to slip into a food coma, but then I got on to a family reunion FaceTime call. So that took like I don't I don't know how long that was, but it was a pretty long FaceTime call, but it was fun. I think we're gonna package up um like plates just to maybe hand out to the homeless today. We have so much extra food, so we just thought we would give some of it away. Um so we literally just have ham and rolls, but I feel like that's good enough. downtown and pass out um, those plates that we made and now we are gonna do a little golf right outside of our apartment um, and we're just gonna we're just gonna have some fun damn it hit it <laughs> it hit the cup good girl Sophie thank you drop it drop it Sophie drop it Good girl. We just got done playing some golf outside and Ryan's really excited because he bought something last night <laughs> when I was asleep. Mm -hmm. And we've been doing that quite often. Well, not you, but I have been shopping so much during this quarantine and I'm planning on doing like a quarantine haul of like everything I've got online during this time. But that is going to come a little bit later just because obviously things are taking a lot longer to ship. But this package is very, very special because I've been eyeing these wine glasses for such a long time and then I just saw in um, a Facebook group that they were on sale. I think they were like $10.36, so getting four of these wine glasses was about $40. I definitely think it'll be worth it because you can use these glasses not only for wine, but also for like cocktails and stuff. They're beautiful, I love them. I'm gonna go ahead and wash all of these and then um, maybe start on a cocktail. I don't know what I'm gonna make yet, but we'll figure it out. I somehow got really sidetracked. I was gonna clean my counters and then I decided that I was kind of sleepy. So I decided to make me some coffee. Actually, Ryan already made like the Nespresso coffee part, but I feel like I said this in my last vlog, but I'm not sure. But um, there's a place called Summer Moon here in Austin. They're known for their moon milk and they actually sell their moon milk. So last time we got some coffee from there, we decided to just get like a cup of moon milk and it literally tastes exactly like Summer Moon and it's amazing because it's literally just all about the moon milk. It is so yummy. And now we just have to buy the moon milk and not have to spend like as much money we would spend on the moon milk to make like a couple coffees on like one coffee. Does that make sense? So I'm really excited about that. Um, but yeah, now I need to get back to cleaning my counters and cleaning those cups and then making cocktails. Ever since I've been having my regular nail polish on, I've been making sure that I use my gloves because I don't want them to chip, even though they're already chipping, which is so annoying. Um, but what can you do? We gave her this ham, but I don't think she likes it. But is anyone else's dog cuter when they pant? I don't know why, she just seems so much cuter. Sophie, are you loving the sun? Yes. See, not as cute. And cuter. <laughs> I have a cup of ice. We're gonna do a frozen drink. And I'm gonna use this Dolce Vita lime tequila. I think I'm gonna do, what do you want, two shots, Ryan? Three. Mm. Then we're gonna use some LaCroix. Right, you want this? Mm -hmm. My nails are so brittle, it's so hard to open this. Going to this. All right, we're squeezing in some lime juice. You want more ice? First drink in the new cute glasses. I don't even know what to call this because it's not really a gin and tonic. Oh my god! Yeah, wow. Almost perfect. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
so cute. I don't know what makes it so cute being in the cylinder glass, but it just makes it look so cute, like I said. <laughs> I also purchased these glass straws on Amazon um, because I knew I was getting those glasses and I wanted like a straw for any like frozen drinks. Sometimes it's just annoying to like have to like sip it and like tilt it. It is currently seven. I actually took a long nap because um, I put my phone like on the charger and I was just like, I don't really have anything else to do right now, so I'll nap. I feel like this day is like the longest day ever, which is good because I feel like the weekends in quarantine just go so fast and then it just feels like you're working all the time. I'm gonna heat up some Thai food and then eat that. This is tomka soup and then Ryan has green curry. The tomka soup is like a coconut lemongrass kind of soup. We got pad thai too. I think that's how you say it and I really liked it so I ate like pretty much all of it so I like let him have all the green curry. That pad thai was so good but um I also ordered the tomka soup so now I have it for another day which is perfect. Like I said I've been going off the charts with my Amazon purchases and I bought these little mason jar um cups and this is like my glass straw that I showed y'all already. This cup is super cute especially if I'm gonna be drinking like tea or coffee out of it i don't know i just like really wanted like a nice cup usually i do drink my water out of my hydro flask and so i usually will probably not drink just water out of this i only have like the sports cap on my hydro flask so something about sipping from a straw is just really satisfying also we started watching desperate housewives we're on season three right now and my parents used to watch this when i was growing up ryan said that he remembers it coming on after extreme makeover home edition so we would all watch that as a family and then i would know to like leave the room because it was like adult tv time and it's so funny because i was telling my dad that i was starting to watch desperate housewives and he was saying how he thought it was like so scandalous back then but it's like not even like close to the, like what tv shows nowadays show and it's just crazy how times have changed but i'm gonna end the vlog here and i hope you guys enjoyed it i'll have all the links for the recipes and products i mentioned in this vlog in the description below so definitely go check that out and i will see y'all in my next video bye